Well, happy Sunday. Hope you enjoyed your weekend and starting you out with a April rainfall and cloud cover calendar. So far for the month of April, we've seen a good amount of sunshine and also a good amount of healthy, beneficial rainfall so far for Corpus Christi. Over three inches of rainfall and we're doing OK for the month of April. Right now, Tower Camp showing you the picture and story out across Corpus Christi on this Sunday evening. 81 degrees, high temperature of 86 degrees. The east southeast wind is going to work at 20 miles per hour right now, so it is a breezy night out ahead of you if you're having any Sunday night plans. Dew point at 65 degrees, so humidity is up to elevated, and that's going to contribute to some rain chances coming into the picture by later on next week. High temperatures across the area pushing near 90 degrees in Foul Furies, 86 over in Kingsville, a uh, pair of 86 is over in Corpus Christi, and as well as in Beeville, 85 over in Alice earlier this afternoon. Tonight for Sunday night plans, temperatures in the mid 70s under mostly cloudy skies. Sunset around 8 o'clock later on this evening. Warm and breezy will be the name of the game. Speaking of winds out of the southeast at 20 miles per hour here in Corpus Christi, 17 over in Robstown, so that's ushering in more moisture that's going to keep our elevated humidity in the picture for the next few days into next weekend as well. Now winds will relax overnight tonight and also jump to double digits by tomorrow afternoon around two and three o'clock. So the breeze will stay with us for the start of the work week and into Tuesday and Wednesday as well. And then and as I mentioned, it's going to actually going to keep our humidity really high through next weekend. Dew points will stay elevated in the low 70s and that's really oppressive humidity and that's going to stay with us for the next week or so until we get our next big pattern change as far as weather. Temperatures across the Lone Star State 85 in Amarillo, 81 over in Dallas, and there is some cooler air parks to the north, 51 in Kansas City, and also some really cold air, 42 over in Billings, Montana, and 53 over in Minneapolis. Unfortunately, we won't tap into this colder air. Uh, what we'll do is actually keep a pretty stagnant weather pattern in check for at least the next couple days until our next pattern starts to take shape, and that's going to be out west over near Southern California, and that's another area of low pressure. You can see on water vapor, some mid upper level moisture working in from the west. None of this is rain, but it's going to keep us under the clouds for at least the next few days, and then out to our west is a sprinting area of low pressure. Now, unlike the last few weeks with our shots at severe weather, this one's actually going to track a lot farther to the north, and that's good news for us. It's just going to channel a lot of moisture overhead, which is going to lead to really cloudy skies through next week. And then, as I mentioned, it's going to track a lot farther north, which a lot of the rain chances will stay over in North Texas. So Futurecast shows you the big picture. By Tuesday and Wednesday, we'll remain under the clouds. A lot of the heavier rain will stay north of the area, Houston, up north of I-10, I-35 in Austin, and also over into Dallas. So Clyde Skies will be the name of the game tomorrow afternoon. We'll see some good amount of sunshine temperatures in the low to mid 80s for high temperatures. Southeast winds still on the breezy side on 15 to 25 miles per hour. So here's that seven day forecast. A nice stretch of uh, pretty nice weather through about Tuesday and that's when the clouds return into the forecast. Temperatures pushing near 90 degrees for Tuesday through Thursday afternoon. Overnight lows in the low to mid 70s. Very mild and muggy with humidity really elevated through next weekend. All right, that's it for the weather forecast. Keep it here on TV3. Travis Green Sports, he's up next.